Hello guys, Chris P here. Welcome back to another video. Today, my friends, I'm going to be testing the GTX 1660 Ti. As you can see over here in MSI Afterburner, this is the Zotac Amp Edition of the card. It comes a little bit overclocked out of the box. As you can see over here, while running the game, we were sitting at 1965 MHz on the core clock. And I'm running it with the Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM. As usual, you'll get pretty much the same FPS with something like a Ryzen 5 3600 and the same 16 gigs of RAM. So, I'm going to be testing it of course at 1080p and 1440p as you saw in the video's title I think low and high settings with the low settings over here I am using texture streaming budget set to high just because it makes the game prettier and it doesn't really impact your FPS okay guys so we're here rendering the entire map in the spaceship and it seems like we are above 100 FPS this is really really nice guys we're gonna go there by the way yeah we're dropping from a hundred sometimes we're not gonna land there I'm gonna land there I don't care you can land there if you want to I am just going there because I need to benchmark the game okay by the way we're going to the epicenter because this is actually one of the most demanding areas of the entire map uh, right there in that little spot is actually the most demanding area of the entire game so I, I like to test it this way we're also gonna go into the city oh boy these textures took a while to load I couldn't notice that but let's go so as you can see we are dropping from 100 FPS over here which is pretty bad to be honest oh my gosh wait a second Okay, okay. You, yeah, just give up, buddy. I'm not gonna get you. I, I just don't want to die here. I just want to see the FPS, okay, guys? So, obviously, compared to the previous season, we're seeing an FPS drop, a quite considerable one. But you can still run a high refresh rate monitor with this GPU. The bad thing about it is just that you, you are running a 1660 Ti or a 1660 Super, which performs basically the same as this one, and I actually recommend that one instead. Because the, the 1660 Super is much cheaper, and it's like 5% slower than this just overclock your 1660 super and you'll get the same fps as i'm getting right now so just looking at the entire epicenter we're into like the 120s that's that's still decent you know you can still take advantage of your high refresh rate monitor it just sucks that it's on low settings apex legends is not the best looker game i would say because it's quite ugly in some areas but you know at least we are running high textures and the textures it's are decent you know they are decent so yeah moving on we're getting into the city we're still getting really good FPS over here it just sucks that we are slightly CPU bottlenecked as you can see there our GPU usage is sitting at 93 92% 94% sometimes yeah that's not a very good experience considering that we could get into like the 200s previously in previous seasons you know so yeah, the game just got very, very CPU demanding for some reason. I don't know why uh, they're reviving people. That oh my god, look at that. Okay, so we got a couple of stutters as well, but that's a very nice backpack. So the guy's dropping there. There's probably a squad around there, but yeah, running around the city. Uh Oh boy, I did a bad thing, didn't I? Uh-oh, okay. They know that I'm here. Okay, should we do this? I don't care. Oh, I, I, I took one down. Okay. <laughs> okay. Where is he? Where is he? Ooh, so many death boxes over here. <gasps> Look at him. Oh my god, I suck. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I, I really wanted to do that because we need to test, of course, ultra settings. <clears throat> 151 FPS average and 102 FPS 1% lows. That's not bad at all, but of course, it's not the best experience, you know. Let's just do 1440p, actually. Okay, so we're back here. 1440p. Everything's still the same here in the settings menu. We are now at 1440p. Obviously, we're using the same low settings. Shut up everybody, everybody's just talking at once, why? <laughs> We're seeing around like 70 to 80 FPS while dropping and rendering the entire map. Of course, down there, I'm not really sure if it's gonna be the same or worse, but we're going to our little spot and testing our FPS, which is right there, yeah. So a high refresh rate monitor at 1440p. You, you can still take advantage of it, as you can see if you're looking this way. 150 FPS almost. That's, that's insane. <laughs> but if you're looking that way... 
Uh, so if you have a 75 Hertz 1440p monitor, which are actually quite common, you could play with the 1660 Ti and get seven, around 70 plus FPS all of the time. As you can see there, our 1% lows are at 69 FPS. Now, it's, it's okay. It's not the best thing ever. Of course, it's way less smooth than at 1080p. And even at 1080p, you can't get 144 FPS plus plus all of the time so that sucks a little bit you know because we were able to do that previously and the game doesn't really look that good for you to not be able to achieve those frame rates but okay it's just apex you know it's just how this game works and at least it's very playable and it's above 60 fps still at 1440p so let's leave the epicenter we saw that our average was around like 109 not a bad experience whatsoever you could of course be competitive with these fps and stuff like that but it's just not the same as the previous season I hate this. I hate that this game gets unoptimized with every single season, but it's just how it goes. I don't know why. And looking at the entire city, by the way, we were getting above 100 FPS still, so that's pretty damn good. I, I should go there, but I want to help my teammates. I think they're good teammates. Let's go with the alternator, actually. Oh my gosh, look at these textures. It always takes so much, so long to um, load the textures. Oh my god, oh my god, no, no, no. Okay, wait a second. Oh my god, oh, I suck so much, guys! Hi, why do I suck so much? Okay, oh, oh, oh god, god damn it! Guys, please help! Yes, yes, we made it! Oh my god, if I didn't put this down, I would be finished. Where are the bad boys at? Where are the bad boys at? I don't know. Oh, oh, they're very close to us, it seems like. Oh, my. Okay, okay, okay. Where? Just ping them, guy. Ping them. Can you ping them? Oh, my God. Okay, so he was using his finisher. Sorry. Right, so it seems like we're getting a 90 to 110 FPS experience, which is pretty decent, to be honest. The game is very, very demanding, and the 1660 Ti is still doing a fantastic job of running it. I will have no problems playing like this whatsoever. And I think, I just think that I will actually prefer to play at 1440p low settings than 1080p low settings, just because I have a 1440p monitor and every Everything just looks much, much better and crispier, and I am all about crispy things, obviously. <laughs> right, guys, let's stop it right there. 108 FPS average, 71 FPS when send lows, that's really decent, you know? Let's get it back to 1080p at high settings this time around. The only setting that I'm not gonna be uh, setting to the highest is this one because it actually introduces a few stutters here and there sometimes with some GPUs and yeah, I'm just making it consistent. So we're gonna be uh, leaving the spot shadow detail on high instead of very high. It doesn't really matter too much for, to the graphical quality anyway. So let's start counting it once again. As you can see, we're actually kind of getting similar performance to 1440p with low settings. I think a little bit lower actually. So yeah, I can definitely feel that it isn't as smooth as like 1080p low settings, of course, but it's kind of the same experience as 1440p, really. Like maybe we drop into the 80s a few more times than at that resolution, but it's not bad. It's not too bad at all. Oh, okay, we, we did it boys, very nice. You know what, I didn't really know what to expect coming into this with the uh, 1660 Ti because the game is just so not well optimized that I was, I think, I was expecting like less than 100 FPS here on older settings, but this GPU is actually very, very powerful, so I'm not sure why I didn't expect more than that. <laughs> I, I guess I'm just a little bit mad that Apex Legends is not well optimized and every single season is just a mess, you know? Okay, so we've seen our FPS here in the city. Ah, this is one of the other most demanding areas while you're standing here looking at the entire city. Uh, as you can see, we actually dropped into the 70s once. 
uh, yeah, 79 there. So this is real. This is like close performance to the epicenter, actually. So we're not gonna go to the epicenter, okay? Because it's outside of the circle. Unfortunately, I'd like to go there, but let's help our team, okay? We're gonna win this one. I can feel it. These guys are good. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a, a, a Arc Star or whatever it is. Come on, come over here, buddy. Oh my god! Okay, I got him. Oh, there's another one behind me, I think. Yep, there he is. The other side of the fence. Oh, almost. Okay. Oh boy, grenade! Gosh! Oh, he was stuck to him, actually. Hi! <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was funny. You know what, guys? I'm gonna do 1440p now. Alright, so, yeah, we got, like, what? 117 FPS on average at 1080p and 80 FPS 1% lows. That's pretty decent for highest settings. Now we're at 1440p, obviously, with the same settings. And if we can get 60 plus FPS all of the time, I would be very, very happy with that. As you can see there, uh, we're touching the 60s already, so uh, it doesn't seem very likely that we will be above 60 all of the time. But... You know what? The game actually looks decent with the ambient occlusion and stuff. Yeah, in the epicenter, we are probably gonna drop from 60. Very, very likely. Wait a second, did I kill four people? Look at that. What the heck, guys? <laughs> what if I go there? I, I can't. Oh, wait a sec. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. This is glass. So I, it's okay, guys. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Alright guys, oh boy this is bad, okay, okay, what are we doing here? Oh there's another one there. Okay, okay, I headshotted him last time, but yeah. I could, I can self revive mate, you don't need to do this, oh boy, this is bad. Oh my god, okay guys, so should I put this here actually? Oh, oh! Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Oh my gosh, no, what did I do? Okay, then we're down. Guys, up here at 1440p, we're still above 60, surprisingly, but we're gonna be dropping from it. Yep, okay. 59, 58, 57 sometimes. That's not too bad. If you have a 60 hertz monitor at 1440p, you just have to drop a couple of settings here and there, and you should be able to get above 60 FPS all of the time or almost all of the time at least, but of course if you have a 1440p higher refresh rate monitor with the 1660Ti, you just want to play at uh, low settings, obviously. It's gonna be a much smoother and enjoyable experience, in my opinion, of course. So here we go, friends. As you can see in the epicenter, we're getting 53 FPS, so that's quite demanding there. Okay, I got one. Nice. Still playable, don't get me wrong. Oh, 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 come over here, Gibraltar. Hi, buddy. Okay, they did it. They did it for me. There's another one. Oh, 100. I took 100 off of him. I wouldn't play at 1440p high settings. As you can see, we're getting below 60 FPS looking at the epicenter here. So that's not that smooth of an experience anymore. I would avoid dropping from 60 FPS in a game like Apex Legends. All right. Oh, and I'm dead. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, guys, so that's it for the Apex Legends 1660 Ti video. Thank you so much for watching. 70 FPS on average, 48 FPS, 1% lows at 1440p. High settings. That's not too bad, but of course, 48, 1% lows. Yeah, that's not what you want in a competitive shooter. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll hopefully see you in the next one. I love you all. Bye-bye.